Hey guys, don't mind my hair. It's a little unruly, it's disheveled. Like most people, I think I do a lot of my best thinking in the shower. Uh, and I had some thoughts and I came scrambling in here to my temple room and my poor overloaded bookshelf uh, to kind of get some thoughts out uh, while I can. I think with everything, you're probably going to be seeing a lot of sporadic, uh, lots of videos, and then maybe not so many videos, and then lots of videos, and then maybe not so many. Um, I actually think I'm going to be doing two right now, so don't be surprised when they both drop. But um, So I've had a chance to do a few Simply Runa videos, and kind of get an idea for what I think I wanted to say, and how I wanted to do things, um, and I did. And I wanted to share some of those thoughts with you. Um, so, again, being a new third degree high priestess, blah, blah, blah. I've really kind of started to look back on who am I, what am I doing? And it comes up a lot because, honestly, it's been on my mind a lot. And... See, I think the thing that maybe some people don't know is that we view it as a new beginning. You know, instead of being, oh, hey, now you know everything, you know, congratulations. It, it's more of a, you know enough to go out into the world. I set you free. So, really kind of considering the community I've inherited. And what I mean by that is, I was raised by a witch. A completely different time, completely different... Uh, place actually it's 1100 miles from where I live now, but the gist of it is This is not my mama's Wicca um, literally so I've really been putting a lot of thought and I think I continue and will continue to be a gardenerian high priestess But I really really do want to look into the community at large and really kind of look into Maybe where certain things are missing and on that note by the way I have not had any feedback from anybody. Please message uh, You don't have to comment if you want to private message me those of you that know me in the real world as it were By all means drop a line say hello. I'm happy to hear what you guys think um in my private life and it's probably not going to happen anytime soon, but hopefully in the next year or two or three or four. Um, I am getting married. We're planning on buying a house. And one of the things we want to do, I think I've mentioned, is register that house as a um, pagan temple. A legal, real, legitimate, quote-unquote, church entity. And I'm realizing... And I've had this conversation actually three or four times over the last week. There is a lot of material out there for beginners. And I mentioned this in my last video a little bit as well. So on that note, I'm going to try to have intermediate discussions, but also I want to talk about some of the things people don't talk about. You know, I want to talk about some of the things that people are afraid to talk about. And as always, it's only my two cents. It is simply Runa, meaning it is just me, it's what I think, and, you know, therefore may not apply to everybody, and everybody's not going to agree with it, and they, they necessarily shouldn't, because, you know, everybody's experience is different. But, I think I want to do a lot of these videos, maybe, to talk about deeper things, talk about conversational things, talk about things that don't get talked about. Um, I really would like to see... Um, specifically in my local community, but I think that we all should be striving towards, you know, bringing our communities together a little bit more. Um, you know, I, I really, really uh, am pained when I see the split between, quote, traditionals and, quote, eclectics. And I think that I would love to see a world where we can come together more, we can talk more. Um, when I eventually do have a temple done, um, for those of you that don't know or I haven't mentioned, um, I'm planning on also looking into the Fellowship of Isis which is something that, as far as I can tell, is a little more accessible to people who don't want to spend 10 years learning to be a traditional priest or priestess. Um, it's something that I can share a little more openly with people uh, to be able to provide services as a priestess instead of going, that's a third degree secret, I can't tell you, sorry, you're not in her court, la la la, uh, which understandably gets annoying to some people. But I really think uh, a couple things I really want to mention 
Now, I understand not all witchcraft is the same, not all paganism is the same, and therefore different peoples have different aims, and that's fine. Uh, being a priestess, one of the big things to me is devotion, uh, meaning that I serve. Um, I serve my tradition, I serve my gods, I serve myself, and I, I plan to more and more serve my actual community, hopefully in tangible ways, and I've got another video coming up probably later today on more of that. So, um, I'm not going to give all that away now, but I think devotion is something we really don't talk about, uh, because everybody's practices are so intimate, are so different, but I think there's a lot of things that really, uh, come into play, you know, different signs, different experiences, you know, I've been talking to, uh, some eclectic friends, uh, the last couple weeks, and, you know, they're like, you know, I, I have this story and no one else has heard it, but, you know, I had this dream, and, you know, insert spirit guide, insert deity, insert what have you here, and they're like, you know, do you really want this? Does this really matter to you? And I just keep going, yeah, that's normal. Yeah, that's normal. That means you're on the path. And people are like, oh, well, I haven't heard this. And I think it's a combination of two things. One, I think in the eclectic world or in the solitary world, people are so used to being alone, they don't necessarily have some of these more intimate conversations, which is their right. But I think, two, there's a certain level of that intermediate uh, learning that's not out there. Um, you know, there are no hard and fast rules, there is no Bible for all pagans, there is no, you must experience this if it's valid, which is something that bugs me when people say. Um, but there are a lot of experiences that people have, you know, such as what I've begun to refer to as the challenge. You know, someone self-dedicates, self-initiates, uh, self-presents uh, uh, themselves to their gods, to their deities, to their personal practice, which, by the way, I think is a beautiful thing to do. Um, and then they get a, you know, bounce back almost from their powers that be, from what they work with, going, ah, but do you really want this? You know, and things like that, that, you know, from someone who's been involved in these things, who's been involved in, you know, as an anthropology major, you know, we studied shamanic journeys, shamanic paths, you know, things that um, are often seen you know, on, on the on the path, as it were, and I mean the broad path, no specific path, no, you know, just a lot of them, the spiritual journeys. Um, I was reminded earlier uh, of a line from Dances with Wolves, you know, there is one path in this life, it's the path of a true human being, and you're on it, and I think it's good to see. I, I think that no matter who we are, there is a general path, and it's a very wide one, and I think that we can all walk it together, and I'd like to see more of us doing so. Um, I'd like to see more of us uh, sharing, because I think that for a lot of people, little things like that, you know, it's very common to hear, you know, oh, I had this dream, but maybe it was just what I ate for breakfast, or, oh, that can't be real, you know, oh, I'm just crazy, oh, I'm just on an ego trip. And while there are no hard and fast truths, I don't believe in absolutes, and therefore saying, you know, this must happen is not cool. There are a lot of things that people who are experienced, um, people who talk in groups, for example, in traditions, one of the benefits of belonging to a tradition, not that I'm saying everybody should, but we have other people that go, yeah, 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 that happens. It happened to my teacher, it happened to his teacher, it happened to my first cousin, you know, it happens with a lot of my students, it's not a requirement, but yes, it's a normal thing. And I think there's a lot of these kind of mile markers that I think really indicate to people. And one of the things I'd love to start talking about as I'm hearing these stories, as they come to my mind, as I think about them, is maybe some of these experiences, um, just so that, you know, people who maybe are eclectic, who are solitary, who maybe don't belong to a specific thing, you know, I, if, if I can make one person, you know, or let one person hear or believe, yeah, no, that's valid, you know, I think... I'd like to be able to do that, um, you know, to help. I think we really, in today's paganism, in today's world, in the 21st, actually, are we going to the 22nd? I don't know. Anyway, postmodern history, the right now, um, we really need to be coming together. You know, we've gotten to a point where we have, excuse me, cat? No, no cat. Sorry. My cat's loud in here and he's going crazy. Um, we're at a point where I think we really need to... We're federally recognized as religion, paganism and or Wicca. 
uh, etc., etc. Um, we're recognized by the military. Um, as I've mentioned prior, I actually went through a court case and I can tell you, legally, we are a religion, we do exist. That all having been said, I think that if we want to continue to be taken seriously, and if we want to continue to build on that momentum and build a place for ourselves in this world that is not just uh, bullshit and and uh, fairy tales and derision, I think we need to work on coming together more. Um, and I think that us knowing certain things are trends, certain things are normal, certain things are part of the process, certain things are part of the journey, maybe we can all come together a little stronger on that. Um, I'm not necessarily looking to coin terms or anything, but maybe if we can all start to find a vocabulary together, if we can all start to go, oh yeah, you know, I had my awakening, or I had my challenge, or as the Catholic nuns and monks say, I got my call, you know, different things that I think if we can find these little things to tie ourselves together, and back to why uh, what I want to do with this channel, if I can in any way help people to start having those conversations with each other, if I can spark conversation, if I can maybe offer any kind of advice, I think what I really want to use this channel for is to try to help people start having those conversations. Um, I probably will write at least one book at some point. I'm not there yet. Um, that and I've got way too much going on this year, getting married, hopefully buying a house, you know, my career doing things. Um, someday, you know, um, hopefully maybe, and this may be the seeds of a book someday, we don't know. But I really want to use this channel to give back. You know, I've spent 10 years devoted specifically to the Gardnerian tradition. I would like to spend the rest of my life serving all of us, you know, Gardnerians and eclectics, etc., 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 um, spend some time getting into, you know, maybe the uh, Fellowship of Isis, FOI, some other things, and really try to build that community because we frequently fight because we're different. We frequently fight because we're not exactly the same. You know, one talks to this one but doesn't talk to that one. Well, let's make fun of those other people. I really think we need to work on coming together more. I think that we have the seeds of something truly great here. Um, we've survived enough to become viable you know, we have an egg, we have life, but I think that if we don't nurture this, it could just as easily fall back apart. I think that if we want to see these spiritual traditions grow and grow in strength and grow in purpose and to really, really be considered valid. You know, I live in the Bible Belt. There is literally a church on every corner down here. Okay, if the Christians can have that and it's okay and they can do the things that they do, um, I think that we have a right to kind of claim uh, some of that heritage for ourselves. Not that I'm saying we need to be on every corner, but, you know, to have buildings, to exist. You know, someone moves into a town, oh, I'm a pagan by myself, and, you know, I, maybe I want to see other people. Well, where do I go? Oh, let me just look at my local, pag local pagan temple. Well, why not? Why can't we have that? Why can't we, you know, enjoy some of the legacy that other great religions do? You know, there's mosques around here, there's, um, I think they're Hindu temples, I'm not sure, forgive my ignorance, but you know, we have many different, uh, quote unquote, not the norm or not mainstream things going on, and I think that it's time for us as pagans to step up to the plate, and to say, you know, we're a community, and start acting like one. You know, we don't need to all be hiding in corners and not talking and trying not to get evicted or lose our jobs or have all these things. And if I can in any way serve that community, if I can in any way help inspire people, um, I hope to do so. And I hope that doesn't sound arrogant. You know, I'm just one person, but I think one person can draw one or two people together and that those one or two people can maybe inspire two or three other people and two or three other people and ye old pay it forward. You know, Gardner was just one man. I'm not saying I want to be the next gardener because gods know I don't. But if I can even inspire one or two other people, um, I'm going to do it. You know, and I think my challenge to the pagan community is let's do it. 
let's do it together and you know if there's anything you guys want to talk about questions you want to ask I know I said I don't really want to get mired in the basic stuff but if anybody wants me to answer a specific question private message me comment something um, I'm willing to talk about it if people think they need it I just don't want to put out all this information that you can get 20 other places I want to try something maybe that we don't see all the time so that's my two cents. This is simply Runa. I am Runa. And uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you think it's stupid, <laughs> tell me it's stupid. If you think, you know, maybe we should tweak this or you think, you know, yeah, I've got ideas. Hey, I'm always looking for ideas for videos. Send them to me, PM M them to me, comment them to me, what have you, and we'll see what we can do. Okay? Have a great day.